Hey everyone. Welcome back to part 2. If you haven't checked the part 1 yet, make sure to check it from here. This video, sponsored by, Storyblocks Video. If you ever need for stock videos, after effects, or motion background, then Storyblocks Video is the best option for you. As a content creator, many times you have to use stock videos for your projects. And it can cost you more than your entire budget. But, with Storyblocks Video, get studio quality stock, for a fraction of the cost. All content on the Storyblocks video is royalty free, so you can use it for commercial, and personal projects. Go to the link in the description, to get all the stock videos you can imagine. So let's get started, open this skill composition, and here we are going to add the skill text in this frame. Go to the tools, and select the text tool, and start typing your text. Select your text and then increase the text size, to around 350 pixels. Also, change the text type to bold. I am using kerning, or letter spacing of 200 pixels. Let's change the font size to 450 pixels. Now eject from the typing box, by pressing Ctrl, plus Enter. Select the Move tool, and then align your text into the center. Let's place this skill layer, above the background layer. And then press T, to open opacity. Let's change the opacity value to 10%. And then right click on it, go to the layer styles, and choose drop shadow. Open this drop shadow option, and first, change the distance value to 20. As well as, change the size value to 0. Now, open the opacity once again, and change the opacity value to 5%. This is what we have now. Let's animate this text as well. Go to around 15 frames position. Now open position, and add a keyframe on it. Go back to the first frame position, and change the Y position value to around 1380 pixel. Now select both keyframes and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and zoom in a little. Now select the keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. This is our animation looks now. Switch back to the timeline, and let's place this last keyframe at 30 frames position. Also, turn on the motion blur for this layer. Cool, now we are moving to the next step. Create a new composition, and we will call it the experience. I am using the same resolution. But this time, I am using a duration of 1 minute. First, we need a background for it. So, let's get back to the skill composition, and copy this background layer. Now open this experience, and paste it over here. Instead of creating a new solid, we will use this layer only. Now open the effects control tab, and change the color of this gradient ramp. You are free to use any color you want. Now select the text tool once again, and add the title of this slide. I am typing work experience. Now select all text, and then place it here, so that you can see it. I am using a line spacing of 350 pixels. Now select this experience text and change the font size to around 200 pixels. Cool. Again select all text, 
and this time, change the line spacing to around 175 pixels. Perfect. Now select this layer once again, and then align your text into the center. Now right click on this layer, go to the layer styles, and choose drop shadow. Open this drop shadow option, and first, change the distance value to 20. Also, change the size value to 0. Now, open the opacity, and change the opacity value to 5%. Cool. One problem is, my background layer is shorter, than my entire composition duration. So select this layer, grab it from the end, and drag it to the right. Now create a new solid layer, let's call it the pointer. And then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the radio wave effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the color to white, or anything you want. And then, change the expansion value, to 0.70. Also, change the lifespan value to 2 seconds. Now change the end width value to 1. And start width value to 100. This is how it looks now. Cool. If you select this radio wave effect, you will see this anchor point. We will use this anchor point, to set the position of this pointer. Let's place it here for now. Now go to the tools and select the text tool. One thing I would like to mention, if you have a big size text in the background, and you want to create a new text, then it can be hard for you. Because whenever we are going to try to click on this screen, the chances are you will click on this text. So let's lock this layer, by clicking here. And then you can add your text anywhere. Now click here, and add your text. Let's change the kerning value to 100 points. As well as, I am using a text size of 200. Let's place it here for this moment. Again, I am going to add the work position. And below this, the company name. Cool, let's select all text. And change the size to 48 pixels. Now select this company name, and change the size value to 24 pixels. As well as, change the font type to light. Again, select all text, and change the line distance value to 34. Place this text position, to something like here. And then eject from the typing tool. Here I am going to add the job description. For this tutorial, I'm using the dummy text only. So do not copy it. Let's align this text, as well as this pointer layer, into the center. I am using this type of design, because it is easy to read. Of course you can use your own style. Select this 2015 layer, and open opacity. Now change the opacity value to 50%. It's time to animate it. Go to around 30 frames position, and then go to the effects and the presets, here search for the fade up characters. Apply it onto the layer. As well as, apply it on all three text layers. Now select all three layers, and then press U, to open keyframes. I am going to adjust the timing of the text animation. For the 2015 text, I am placing both keyframes at 30 frames distance only. Let's place this keyframe here. And for the description text, I am placing the second keyframe on 2 second position. So that the animation won't be too slow. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and select all keyframes. Now change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timer line, and this is our animation looks now. Minimize the all layers, by pressing the U on your keyboard. Now select all these layers. Except for work experience. Right click on it and choose pre-compose. Let's call it experience, 001, and then hit OK. 
Now go to the project window, select this experience 001. Go to the edit, and click on the duplicate. Now place this comp onto the timeline, go to around 3 second position, and then place the starting point of this layer at 3 seconds. Now open this composition. Double click on any text layer, and start editing it. Switch back to the experience composition, and now we will add the position to both layers. Create a new null object, and we will call it the position. Now select both experience layers, and parent them with the position null layer. Cool. Now select the position layer, and then go to around two and half second position. Here, open position, and add a keyframe on it. Go to the one second forward, and change the Y position value to negative 400 pixels. This is what we have now. Now select the experience 002, and then press, shift plus down arrow key on your keyboard, to bring the layer into the center. Cool. Here we have this slide animation. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and then, turn on the motion blur for both layers. If you check the animation, you can see my animation is not starting at the correct timing, so let's place the second experience layer to the left, so that it will start from the first keyframe. Cool, this looks much better now. You can add many more experience if you have. Just follow the same steps for all the layers. Now we are moving to the next step. Create a new composition, and we will call it the signature. I am making it 10 seconds longer, and then hit OK. Now create a new solid layer, and let's call it the background. I am using a dark grey color for it. Here we are going to add a signature to it. For doing that, you can use the shape but I am going to use the brush, to save some time. Make sure to double click on this background layer, and then this layer should open. If you go to the tool, you will find the brush tool right here. Click on it. And then you will see these two new tabs here. In case you don't find these tabs here, go to the window, and select the paint, as well as the brushes. Let's check the brush tab first. We will use this brush to draw the signature. So my brush diameter is set to 3 pixels, and spacing is 1%. This is the lowest we can go. Now the paint tab. This step is important. Make sure to change the duration to write on, to get a writing animation. You can also change the color of it, I am using a white color. Now add your signature here, simply sign here. Of course, this step is optional, you can skip it if you want. If you check the animation, you will see the writing in real time. Go back to the composition window, let's make the animation smooth. Select this layer, and then press U, to open keyframes. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. It's time to add the name. Select the text tool, and then add your name. Let's make the text size 66 pixels. I have to adjust my tab's panel size, because it has changed from the brush tool. Place it something like here, and then apply the fade up character animation on it. Cool, check the animation, and see if you like it. It's time to merge all of the slides. Switch back to the resume a composition and then add the signature, as well as, experience comp into the composition. Make sure to parent the signature, and the experience comp with the position. Now, I want the experience to appear after the intro. So let's place it below the intro layer. And then drag it to the right, so that it will start from the 4th second. Now go to the 10th second timing, select the position layer, and then add a keyframe on position. Go to the 12 second timing, 
and change the Y position value to around negative 1630 pixels. Now select the skill layer, and press shift plus down arrow key, to bring the skill layer into the center. Make sure the layers should be aligned perfectly, so that we cannot see any blank space between them. You should spend more time, in adjusting the position. Cool. Let's drag it to the right, so that the animation should start appearing, after the layer is visible into the frame. Now go to the 16 second timing. Let's increase the timeline duration, by dragging it to the right. And again add a keyframe on the position. Go to the 18th second. And use the shift plus up arrow key, to change the Y position value to around negative 2550 pixels. And then drag this signature layer, to the 16th second position. Now use the shift plus down arrow key, to place it to the center. Check the animation, let's select the position keyframes, then open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Also, make sure to turn on the motion blur for all layers. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Say